Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be building some storage shelves in my new shed. I just purchased this shed on Marketplace and in my last two videos I built a foundation for this to set on as well as a ramp so I can get my mower and everything into the shed. So stick around and I'll show you how to build this shelving. So here's the space that I have. Right now the shed doesn't have anything in it, just floor space and it's not as usable for me without some storage shelves. So I'm going to be building this along the back wall. The shed is 12 feet wide, so it's a 12 foot section and I'm going to be doing it two feet deep. This is perfect because I can easily rip down a piece of plywood in half and be able to use both halves perfectly on the shelving without any waste. It also works out well because it's less cutting if I only have to cut the plywood once. This project is also perfect for using up a bunch of scraps that I had laying around from other projects. So I'm using all of my shorter pieces of two x fours. I'm cutting those all at 21 inches. And then I'll just take an eight foot two x four on the front and back and nail this together. And that will create the frame for one of my shelves. Next, I'm gonna be nailing this frame right directly onto the studs that are on the shed. So this is gonna be supporting the back as well as the side of the shelf. And then I'm gonna install a couple legs on the front of the shelving to hold up and support the weight in the front of the shelves as well. I'm gonna tack this in place with just one nail, then I'll make sure everything's level and then I can go right down the line putting a couple nails in each stud. I'm building these in two different sections. This long eight foot section here, the shelves are gonna be two feet apart. So two feet in between each shelf going up. The other side is only a four foot section and I'm gonna be making that closer to 16 inches or a foot apart. I can fit a lot more shelves in and a lot of smaller things can go on those shelves while a two foot is perfect for some bigger tools or bigger storage items. You can see I'm not attaching the plywood yet. Doing this alone, it's a lot to hold up while trying to nail this and level it. So keeping that plywood off is actually easier to get to the frame and nail this in without getting in the way and it's lighter to hold up as well. So once I have all the frames in, I'll then attach the plywood. I also want to mention you don't have to have a nail gun for this. It does speed up the process. But if you don't have one, you can easily use hammer and nails or use a bunch of deck screws with the drill and that works really well. Now I chose to stop my shelving a little above six feet and that gives me plenty of room above the shelf before things start touching the roof. So that's something to consider. You don't wanna build it all the way up to the roof or else you won't really have any storage space up there. And the higher you go, the harder it will be to reach that top shelf. All the frames are mounted to the wall. Next, I need to rip the plywood down to size. And this is really easy because I made the panels two feet wide by eight feet long. So just rip this down the middle and those are ready for the shelves. To attach the top of the shelves to the frames, I'm gonna be using inch and a half screws. These work really well, it pulls the plywood down, keeps it from bowing. Nails can pull out eventually, but screws hold much stronger. So I chose to use screws for this. Now I'm gonna add the legs on the front of the shelving. This will really sturdy up the front as the back of the sides already have plenty of support. So I'm gonna make sure that each of these shelves are level before screwing them into place on the legs. Now this end piece right here, I'm actually leaving that half on this section. I'm leaving the other half of the two x four to screw into the next four foot section on the side. 
I'm gonna add another support beam right in the middle of that eight foot span, cutting that in half, and then I'm gonna add one right up against the wall. It doesn't need one there, it's already attached to the two by four framing. It just looked really odd not to have it there. It looks like it's a weak point. So I added one in and it really made it look a lot better. For this next section, the frame is going to be built exactly the same, only shorter, at four feet wide, and I'm going to be building five of these instead of the three on the other side. This is going to be a lot closer together, it'll give me plenty of storage space or shelf space for smaller items, and the top shelf I'm actually planning to have that end at the same exact height as the other top shelf, so it's going to be one continuous top shelf across the top. These next shelves, again, will have no waste. These sheets are gonna be two feet wide by four feet long, so I can actually get four sections out of each sheet of plywood with no waste. After adding two more legs, one on each wall, I'm gonna be just about finished with the shelving. It's really simple, there's very little to no waste for the two by fours as well as the sheeting. And with the lumber prices the way they are, I don't like to waste any wood, so this worked out perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's really sturdy as well. You can see me climbing on top. It doesn't move at all. I'm gonna be placing a lot heavier things than myself on these shelves. So I wanted a design that will support all the weight that I'm gonna be putting on it with no problem. So here you can see all the shelves. It turned out great. I really like the look of them as well. I know it's just in a shed, but I like things to be organized and clean looking. So this will do a great job of doing that. 
And these shelves are so deep, at two feet deep, you really can hold a ton of stuff on these shelves. So I'm really excited to clean things up and start loading up the shelves. And there's still a ton of space left, so I need to figure out what else I can move in the shed and keep in storage out of the way and clean things up. I hope you guys liked this or found it helpful. If you did, hit that like button down below or comment down in the comment section and let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking on the link down in the description to my Patreon page. Also, a huge shout out to all my supporters on Patreon. Already, you guys are amazing. You're helping me continue to create great videos like this one. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one.